My name is Daniela, and I will read from the book Secret of Enlightenment, a just short paragraph. I share with you the teaching of Dr. Acharya Sri Yogesh. In a deep state of relaxation, you will know where you stand and you will know that true love, true compassion can only come from the heart and not from your head. Love and compassion cannot, pre cannot be premeditated or they will lose all value. Love, for instance, is energy and energy flows everywhere. How can you premeditate love? If you do, it will, it will eventually crumble. If love is mind-oriented, it carries hate with it and will partake in duality. This kind of love can never be pure. A love which emanates from the heart as a spontaneous and clear appearance. In fact, the more heart-oriented you are, the more pure and filled up with love energy you will be. And when you are filled with love, your whole being will take on the appearance of emptiness. Have you ever observed a clear glass of water which is filled up to the rim if you are aware, you will notice the glass will stim uh, si simultaneously take on both qualities of fullness and emptiness. So don't do things for recognition, because if that is your goal, you will miss the real point altogether. If you try to get recognition, you will get it, but you will miss yourself. Your goal is to know yourself because only then will you know everything else. And love is the way. I have compiled these lectures of my teacher, Dr. Acharya Sri Yogesh. And I've learned from my writing, I've learned from my experiences, and uh, I've used what I've heard to understand the meaning. The meaning is the practice of exploring, of exploration. It's something that has to be done within oneself within one's life, within, within, within one's life experiences. And uh, these words are very powerful, but they are not alive unless we search within ourselves and we find what is the real meaning of these words, the reality of these words and it's not easy. It's a practice that comes with yourself, just using yourself as the practice, using every experience that you come across as the practice. And you have to recognize, you have to understand, you have to remove what doesn't work inside of you. You have to empty yourself you have to remove your mind, you have to remove your thoughts, you have to remove the resistance that comes with it. Resistance is one of the worst enemy that you can have towards yourself. It has nothing to do with what is happening with the other person, with experiences around you. It has to do with yourself 
Are you willing to go beyond it? Are you willing to see through it? Are you willing to be that empty glass? Are you willing to be full and empty at the same time? It takes strength. It takes courage. Words are easy. Practice. It's not. Because you have to change your all being. You have to change your thinking. You have to change how you see things. And you have to use the experience. Your experience is your teacher. When you open yourself to the experience, to the understanding, to the learning, to what comes up from inside yourself, the good and the bad, and you start recognizing, you start seeing what holds you back, you start seeing what brings you forward, you start analyzing, you start expressing within yourself. All this brings a certain aliveness and you know and at the base of all this is love and this love cannot be minded mind oriented if it is you are thinking you're not experiencing you're not feeling feeling too need to be understood I like to share this with you I've put effort into achieving this realization, this understanding, and I would like to use it in a positive way, in a way where another person can hear it and benefit from it. But each person will have to find their way. My way was mine, my teacher, my guide, my mentor way was his. I cannot follow his. He cannot follow mine. You cannot follow mine. I cannot follow yours. You have to find your way. And I hope this was helpful to you. I will come again and I will read again for you to hear more of my own realization and it might give you a certain insight of what you would like to do with yourself. I would like to take a few moments and feel the peace and feel the relaxation and feel the enthusiasm that can come from inside of you. And I hope you feel that. I hope your curiosity can come to surface and I hope you can benefit. My whole thing is for you, someone else, to benefit. I'm going to bring myself into silence for a few moments and together feel silence, our own silence, the silence that exists throughout the whole universe. So take a deep breath. Hold the breath. And gently exhale. Take another deep breath. Hold the breath. And gently exhale. I wish for love to be yours. Om Shanti.